New Zealand's favourite naturopath Lani Lopez is back and talking natural remedies and supplements for menopause sufferers. Hi Lani. Hello. Let's talk a little bit about menopause. What exactly is it? Menopause is when the menstruation stops, so um, usually for about a year. So you can get perimenopause, which happens as gradually as the period may sort of stop and start, stop and start. Mm -hmm. And then after a year, after it's stopped, then you're into menopause. Okay, so what age does it generally happen at? Well, it's a lot earlier than I thought. Average age from 46 to 54. Okay, and so the perimenopause can start before that then, obviously? Yeah, uh, or you can have early onset menopause. Uh, some women get it when they're 17 or 22. The ovaries just aren't working. And some women can experience menopausal symptoms way into their 90s. Gosh, fantastic. So women and our hormones. We really are so <laughs> very lucky, aren't we, with our hormones? We, we need a woman cave. We really do need, a, we do need a woman cave. So what are some of the signs and symptoms of menopause? Well, I don't want to say that menopause is a disease, because I think nowadays people are thinking that it is. It's just a natural transition so we will experience hot flushing and that it can happen any time, day or night, where you just feel this extreme amount of heat, you might sweat a lot, uh, libido drive can go down and that can happen with stress anyway. Did you know that um, we thought that depression was one sign of menopause but now we're learning that actually it's no different between having your menstruational period and going through menopause. So oh we're learning that depression is the same. Okay. And, um, and estrogen is low, so some women can experience quite big headaches or migraines that go along with that. Okay, these can be different for everyone though. This is the oh, thing, yeah. isn't it? It's not one uniform thing for every lady, is it? No, it's not. And, uh, it, you know, you get a group of women talking about it and they will all have different symptoms. And so treating it is quite difficult mm. because if you're getting a symptom, say, at night time, then you want to have certain herbs or a, a flannel by your bed or a cooler room. Everyone's just different. And some people sail through it and have no problems and other people who really does struggle tell me who my mother are. my mother said it was great See, so, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so my mother gives us hope for everyone it's only because she wasn't you know having more of you guys <laughs> well, that's true <laughs> definitely past having any more of us so what can you do about it then what are some of the things you can do uh, well HRT is something that the doctor may recommend there's a very small tiny percent that it can increase the risk of breast cancer or cancer. So I do want to bring that up. Mm -hmm. Now some people can metabolize estrogen in a good way or in a bad way and there is a test that you can do called the estrogen metabolism assessment test. No one will remember that name anyway yep. but um, I will write it up on my website. Good. So if you metabolize it in a good way you're not growing cancer. If you metabolize it in a bad way you can potentially grow cancer. So that's why exogenous uh, estrogens like HRT can be dangerous for some people but it's just a small risk. So you do have to check with that? You do and, and it's one thing that we can all do and men can do it too mm -hmm. because they are exposed to estrogens just as much as we are. And what about some natural remedies and things that you can take to ease the symptom? I've seen the most success with Remifenin and that's made out of black cohosh and it doesn't affect estrogen um, receptors in our body so there's no risk of cancer it affects serotonin levels and it's very good for hot flushing then you can go to a naturopath and you can have different things made up for you um, sage is another one it's a very drying herb and it's very good for hot flushes and sort of all around menopausal things soy is an interesting um, product because you can have it as a food or as a supplement and it really does work for menopausal symptoms but again you have to have that assessment done because soy is a phytoestrogen, a plant estrogen. Okay, gosh, it seems like there's a whole lot of things we could go down the that's road. It's a minefield. It really is, yeah. but that's been very enlightening. So thank you so much, Lani, for coming in You're and welcome. talking about menopause. And if you want more helpful information on this subject and other health inquiries as well, head along to Lani's website, lanilopez.com.